Thanks for tuning in guys at the Pest and Lawn Gidget. Today we're going to go over fall cleanup leaf control. Now obviously Movember fell upon my face, but fall is throwing up all over the place in my house right now. So what do we do with all these leaves? Now, if you're being honest with yourself, most of us are just gonna throw it in the trash and we're gonna throw our kids in the trash to jump on the leaves to make as much room as possible. But what if I told you there's a better way? Now, trees are pretty much miners. They're taking trace minerals out of the soil and they push them through the leaves. Well, all those minerals and nutrients are still in the leaves and it's important we get them back down to the soil. Now, these trace elements uh, are derived from nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Now these leaves in their current state are gonna end up matting together and they're gonna form a pretty thick weed barrier. So we have to make a couple of choices. We need to break down the leaves if we wanna take advantage of all these trace minerals and we need to figure out where we want to put them. It's important to remember there's a couple of problems that we have to solve. Number one, leaves need to be broken down in order for the soil to grab those trace nutrients. So you got a couple of options. You can shred them, you can whittle them down as, as small as they'll go, or you can make a compost and put it back on the lawn as a top dressing. Now in either case, I find that the initial thing to do is to start by leaf mulching. Now this video, we'll be comparing the Works Leaf Mulcher against the Sunjo Leaf Mulcher. Now we're putting these two head to head because they were the top two in their category. Now the ratings are great. They have a space saver design. Both of them are virtually the same size. They're about 22 inches in diameter. And when you're only using this once or twice a year, space saving is a big deal. Now the Works Leaf Mulcher, they spent some time engineering this thing, getting it in the box, and you can see the way that the legs are tucking into the cylinder. They designed this for space saving. Now right off the bat, you can tell the Sunjo, it's also tight in its packaging, but the obvious difference is there's nowhere to put the legs. So on a design aspect and storage aspect, I have to give point number one to the Works Leaf Mulcher. Now, as far as setup goes, the setup was pretty painless. Neither one of these units require any tools. Now, the Works Leaf Mulcher was pretty painless to set up. I gotta be honest with you, the design aspect of it is really simple. It took me about one minute and eight seconds from start to finish. The Sunjo Leaf Mulcher took me two minutes and 19 seconds. So you're probably wondering why it took so long. Well, it's got some additional pieces and the legs on the Sunjo, which is a positive thing, are adjustable, where on the works they are not adjustable. Now, I did run into a problem with the main cylinder or hopper the leaves go into. It was a little misshapen from the factory, and I had to wrench on it just a little bit to get it to fit. Now, once I got the proper fit on it, I really don't have any problems with it, and it looks great. Now, at first glance, the Sunjo is about an inch and a half taller once the legs are fully extended out by comparison to the works. Now, both of them just have a cylinder hopper where the leaves feed in, and it's a glorified string trimmer. Uh, both these units are exactly the same when it comes to the design aspect of being a string trimmer. Now the work system is a fairly simple unit. It's got one speed and one speed alone and an on and off button. Now as for the Sunjo, one of the primary differences is it's got this shield that goes into the hopper that reduces the diameter of the area that allows the leaves to feed into the hopper. Now frankly, I'm not sure if this is a positive or a negative at this point, but but the Sunjo definitely wins when it comes to customizations and options. The Sunjo does let you adjust the legs where the work system does not. Now this will come in handy if you've got a slight decline or incline and you need to create a flat surface. Now you're not gonna be able to do that with the works, but with the Sunjo, you can. Now the biggest difference between the Sunjo and the works is the ability that the Sunjo has to speed up or slow down the string trimmer. Now it's got several options. You can use one setting for wet leaves, grass, and thatch, dry leaves, medium speed for dry leaves, and then for dry leaves, a fine speed. Now, in my opinion, the only difference this made was how fast the string trimmer was running. Now with either one of these units, there's a couple of additional items that you're gonna need to have or purchase. Now one is an extension cord, they're both run through electricity. You're gonna have to have some gloves and some eye gear to protect your eyes from the debris coming out and you're gonna need some sort of bag to catch all the leaves coming out of the machine. 
Either leaf mulcher will use plastic bags like the Husky 32 gallon bags that I have here. Now, there's a couple of key differences. You'll notice the works machine has that cylinder at the top. The bag tucks in really, really nice. Now the Sunjo has these elastic holders on the outer edges of the motor and I found they were a huge inconvenience. Now the elastics made it very difficult to get the bag centered underneath the unit but they were also hard to use like it was not as easy as it seems and I could have been making it more difficult than it should have been but I wasn't super confident that it was going to hold the bags to their full capacity without causing problems. Now I'm all about the convenience factor and I didn't want to deal with a billion plastic bags everywhere so I bought these Pro Garden leaf bags and they came with a bonus leaf scooper in it. Now these bags are pretty legit. I was kind of surprised. Now they're a 30 gallon equivalent, but they're also made out of canvas and they're really sturdy. Now the biggest thing about these pop-ups is most of them, they just kind of wobble to and fro and these kind of stay in place and they came with the bonus leaf scooper hands which was really nice because I didn't have to buy them separate and it makes picking up leaves a breeze. Now these garden bags work perfect for the works system. I mean, they fit really, really snug. Now as for the Sun Joe system, it didn't fit as snug. I was able to just kind of play with it a little bit and I got it down to like a quarter of an inch gap around the entire thing, but the legs just kind of got in the way a little bit. Now the only other thing to mention is you will need a heavier gauge uh, extension cable for the Sunjo where you don't need that for the works. You'll need a 14 gauge or a 12 gauge depending on the length. Now about the only other thing we're missing is leaves. <laughs> where can I get some leaves? Now luckily for us, they're just falling from the sky and I ended up with about 23 bags to drive me crazy. <laughs> So, these are basically glorified string trimmers, but I tell you what, man, this is spinning like nobody's business. It's from a different planet. <laughs> it kind of shocked me a little bit. Now, according to the box, the Sun Joe is supposed to do a better job. It's got a cutting ratio or a clipping ratio of 16 to 1, and it also is supposed to do 55 gallons of leaves per minute, where the works has an 11 to 1 ratio and it has a uh, 53 gallons per minute cutting as well. So there's a couple of differences on the box. Sunjo saying, hey, we're better. Let's get to it. Let's see what's going on. But I think I'm going to recruit some help for this. See, I'm making a massive mess because my workers here don't get paid enough. But million dollar question is, is how well does it shred? So let's look at the Sun Joe. And you can see, I mean, it's it's doing a good job. It's, uh, it's pretty fine. There's a lot of uh, finer pieces in here. Pretty happy with this on a mulch standard. As it gets wet, it's really gonna decompose. And then on the work side, Man, guys, I gotta say the works is chopping it a lot better. What do you guys think? I, yeah. I think it works better. Back. better. <laughs> Good fun. Let's look at this again. I think that I one know. might be a little bit better. It shreds, it doesn't shred better. Know. These I think, ones, I think the these ones don't seem like they're as fine. Yeah. Okay, so round one, I'm gonna give to the works and I'll tell you why. Number one, most importantly, it grinds everything up a lot better than the actual Sun Joe. The problem that we're having with the Sun Joe is that top plate, it makes it so much slower. I mean, I'm grinding twice as fast with the works too. Now, if I were to guess, the Sun Joe did that top plate to slow it down so you can kind of feed it in to get a better cut. But with the works machine, you can see how quick and easy this is, and it makes it a lot faster. Now I spent some time and burned the midnight oil, dropping bag after bag after bag. Now I did about 10 bags in the Sun Joe leaf mulcher and about 10 bags in the Works leaf mulcher. Now I learned a couple of lessons. Number one, these are glorified string trimmers. 
breaking the line is part of the deal. It's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's not a matter of when. The lines are just going to break. Now, the good news is they were really easy to change out. Unlike a traditional string trimmer for your yard, these took about 30 seconds to swap out both sides and you don't necessarily have to have a proprietary line through Sunjo or through Works, but I do recommend getting the same diameter line that came with machines. Now, the other lesson that I learned is the Sunjo is a lot slower in the process than the work system. It's that top plate and there's really nothing you can do about it except for just grin and bear it. You have to constantly push your hand into the feeder and feed the leaves in where the works machine, until the string on the string trimmer breaks, you're going and it is a lot faster. Now I would dare say that the specs on the box for the works at 53 gallons per minute are about right if you feed it correctly. Now to feed the Sunjo correctly, there's really no way that you're getting the specified, I think it's 53 or 56 gallons per minute. Uh, it's a lot slower than that because you have to consistently feed the hopper with your hands. Now, because these are string trimmers, I hit my gloves on the strings a couple of times. I thought it was gonna hurt, it didn't hurt. There was really not a lot of risk in putting my hand in there. Now, don't, don't just do it to prove me wrong and cut your hand off, but I still have all my fingers. Now, after we're done mulching the leaves, we had to put them somewhere and I wanted to put them directly underneath my tree. I wanna watch the whole decomposing process happening. And now we started out with 20 32 gallon bags for a total of 640 gallons of just dry leaves. Now we mulch them into these Garden Pro bags that I have. Now these bags are 30 gallons and we reduce the size down to eight bags full. Now mathematically that equals 240 gallons. So we had a total of a 62% reduction in the amount of total space that these leaves were taking up after we mulched them. Now the ratios on the box say 11 to one and a 13 to one ratio, I found it was more uh, more or less about a 7.5 to one ratio. One of the questions I had for myself is, will the works and the Sanjo leaf mulchers do a better job than this if I just use my mower? What if I just raked all the leaves into my lawn and mowed them up, who wins the battle? I have an old Honda. It's probably 12 years old. Uh, however, it's a commercial grade Honda with the quad cut system on it. So I'm really interested to seeing what's going to do a better job. Will it be the leaf mulchers or will it be this? Let's, let's just do some comparisons. So I got that pile right there and you can see a lot of big chunks. And then I'm just going to take some of this stuff that we've mulched up with the leaf mulchers and I got a few seeds in in the leaf mulcher pile um, i really think that these probably just came off the tree recently however you can see in my mow pile here a lot of big chunks and the other thing i don't like is i got grass in here as well when you mow and i've mowed recently too which just goes to show that the grass is still growing but you can see pretty big chunks um, when we get in here it's about half the size. So I give it to the leaf mulchers. It works better. All right, so I sat long and hard trying to figure out how to level the playing field between these two devices. And I started thinking about it. And the strings inside each one of these are different. Quality is different. So what I did is I grabbed some of the extras that I had just lying around with my Ryobi string trimmer. And I'm gonna swap these out. Now, luckily for me, these things are so easy to swap out. So if that's a concern, don't let it be a concern. Uh, the strings on it takes literally about five seconds each and then voila, I'm done and off to the races. So let's go see the results. Okay, so I dumped a pile out on the left for the works. On the right, we have the Sunjo and the results are kind of shocking. Um, I was not ready for this. So we had the same exact diameter line. As you can see on the works pile, it's a little chunky um, and 
it didn't chew it up quite as nicely as it did before, but the Sunjo performed amazing with that other line. Now, with the works, the, the line is thinner in diameter, and the Sunjo by default is a thicker diameter wire, but man, I mean, this looks fantastic. And then if we just grab a little bit of the stuff that we've been grinding up, just to do a third comparison, just by default. You can see that the, uh, the OEM wires do better overall, but that green Ryobi wire, well, it's not even a Ryobi wire. I just got it that fits the Ryobi. Um, but with the Sunjo, I mean, it, it shredded up brilliantly. So kind of shocked. Now, all things considered, at the end of the day, I'm going to be using the works over the Sunjo. Now, the reason being is number one, overall, it just worked. It saved me a ton of time. Number two, the real winner of this video were those lawn bags that I have are amazing. Not only they pick up the debris dice, but they tuck into the works unit well. And I found that the Sunjo unit, it was throwing out leaves side to side. Now you could easily say, okay, well, I'm not gonna use those bags, so I'll go the other route. But the bottom line is around the cylinder, it, the Sunjo actually has rubber bands that hold the bag in, where the Works does not. Now the Works does not uh, have a leveling device like the Sunjo does, but again, ease of use, breaking the units down, storage, everything goes to the works over the Sunjo. But if you guys have any questions or comments, hit me up, let me know. I'd love to help you guys out. Till the next time guys, this is the Pest and Lawn Digit. Later.